Hey, hey, welcome to another Slow MTG. Today, I just received my Secret Lair Secret Bursary order. So there are a couple of things in here. I don't know why some of them, the Universes Beyond ones come in this larger box. I guess it's really cool and looks nice in retail. And we've got a couple of these ones, Secret Lair Jurassic World. As you know, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World was an insert in the recent Lost Caverns of Ixalan. So they did, did two Secret Lairs. And of course, after I ordered this, they released the Doctor Who one, which I didn't manage to get because I already placed my order. And Wizards, guys, I was supposed to get a Locust God promo, but you guys messed up and didn't send it to me, so please send it to me. Anyway, I've submitted a request. We also have Lara Croft's Secret Lair here, and a couple of regular Secret Lairs here in the, the current new packaging. We've got Through the Wormhole, Tales of Time Stoppers, The Lost Caverns of Ixalan Showcase, even more Showcase, and Microsoft Wave. So let's take a look and crack this open. I also have this um, starter deck kit that someone gave me, thanks C, for my Christmas present at work. Alright, which one shall I start with? Let's start with Tomb Raider, because everyone loves good old Lara Croft. Anyway, these ones look like these, and I only play for sport, a bit thematic, Lara Croft saying that. So we have a look and see what's in here. Secret Lair X Tomb Raider, maybe when they had planned out these Secret Lairs, Oh, it's upside down. They they did it when and placed the order when it was under the old secret layers. Universes beyond, I'm sure the contracts take some time to push through. Anyway, these boxes you can be recycled. They're kind of nice for prizes. Oh look, everything's upside down. I've got an upside down into an upside down into an upside down. And if you don't remember, there is a secret secret layer card at the back of these ones, which I'll open in a bit. I don't know what they are. But anyway. Let's um, peel this off. Lots and lots of packaging. Let's get rid of this. Okay, so we've got Lara Croft, our Tomb Raider here. Let's see what we got. And careful with that. Curled and slightly pringled out of the pack. Anyway, I got the foil version. They also come in non-foil. Lots, uh, if you know this bundle, they had all of this and a couple of other things I didn't order. The um, the cute little Doctor Who drop came a bit after the initial drop happened. They also have the, um, I can't remember which one's, Paradise Found and Paradise Frost. Just some basics, snow cover basics and a gift wrap foil edition, which I didn't order. Anyway. Um, let's look at this. We've got Lara Croft. She is in Teemo colors. First strike and reach at 3-4. Slightly shifted symbol. Whenever Lara Croft attacks, exile up to one target legendary artifact card or legendary land from graveyard and put a discovery counter. You may play a card in exile with a discovery counter in this turn. It's got this thing called Raid. At the end of combat in your turn, if you attack this turn, create a treasure token. Not bad. Too bad she didn't haste. Anyway... That's Lara Croft for you. I just collect secret layers for fun. You know, they're nice to seal and just um, sleeve up. And sometimes I use them in Commander. I really love these, this enchantment. Search for Scanter. Came out in original Ixalan. Beginning of your upkeep, Surveil 1. Then if you have 7 or more cards, you may transform Heart of the Explorer into the other side, which is Lost Very Valley, which is as Scanter, the Sunken Ruin. Lara Croft stumbles upon a T-Rex. You can tap to add mana, and then you can kind of dig to reveal non-creature and non-land put in your hand. So great in control decks. Good in commander. I like it. Anger of the Gods, as you know, a board wipe. I guess the storm just kills everything. We've got Bow of Nylea. Lara Croft. Ellis Rocks Art. Looks uh, digital. Bow. I won't... Um, in these ones, the universe is beyond. They actually, even though it's Bow of Nylea, they refer to it as the, the card's name. So the Grim Whisper deals two damage to target creature with flying. Gives everything death touch. So we won't go through that in too much detail. Shadow Spear, this is a nice, real cool reprint. Uh, this ticks up in Commander because of uh, how good it is. Basically what happens is uh, you, it's it's only one mana, two to equip. You give creature plus one, plus one, triumphal lifelink. And then this is really important, this one. One permanence, your opponent's control, lose hexproof and indestructible to end of turn. So if they try to heroic intervention, your board wipe, too bad. Okay, we've got Academy Ruins here. This is nice. You can, this is a land that lets you put artifact on top of your graveyard, on your graveyard, on top of your library. Really thematic. I guess Lara Croft is searching for ruins. And then we've got a treasure token here. 
quite a few cards in this one. Something secret less, as you will see, come with three cards. This comes with six. I don't think it was too much more expensive than the others. And let's see the special card, which is Command Tower Croft Manor. So Command Tower, staple, and this is non-foil. Hmm. I wonder if this comes in foil or is it non-foil across the board? Um, yeah, I'll leave it in the pack first for now. And I'll go find out if it's meant to be foil, then I'll message Wizards. Okay, so we've got one secret lair. We've got the Jurassic World Breaks Free. Um, let's open this through the wormhole. I'm really excited about this one. This one, for various reasons, let's see. Um, some really cool cards in it. Someone I saw on the misprint group on Facebook opened a crimped version and he's going up for auction. And some really cool cards to get crimped. Really beautiful cards. So thank you for being part of Secret Lair. It's a new one. Bang. Oh, sadly, I didn't get a crimp version. Anyway, let's let's. Um, it's quite tough to, to find him crimp. If you do luck out, good on you. Instant money, I think. Let's see. I do like the Galaxy foiling. This came out in Infinity, and this lies flat, as you can see. No pringling up this one. So I guess this Galaxy foiling works quite well. Some staples in here. Really beautiful staples. I think this one will appreciate a little bit as people realize that, hey, I really want the most pimp of pimp versions for my deck. So we've got Arcane Signet, Lightning Greaves, um, art by um, a mix of Danny Pandagrast. Sorry if I'm messing up your name. So this Galaxy Falling is really pretty. So we've got really a couple of staples here. We've got Lightning Greaves, of course a staple in Commander. We've got Soul Ring, another staple. Really, really pretty. Got Thought Vessel, also kind of a commander staple. It's like Reliquary Tara on a in artifact. Got Command Tower, again, staple land, rainbow land, no downside. Uh, we've got Sad Robot, not quite a staple. This is the secret lair, the fifth secret lair card. I wish I bought another set of this because these have so many staples that can go into all my other commander decks. So Sad Robot here, as you all know, when ETB search for basic land, put that into battlefield, tap and shuffle. When it dies, you may draw a card. Let me get closer into the, the foiling you can see here. It's not the, the best example, but if you've seen the rest, you can see how really nice it is. There. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, that's that one. What else have we got? Let's um, bounce around a bit. Let's go back to this. This this is a hilarious one. I, I bought this just for the memes. Life uh, finds a way. Oh, look at this. Upside down again. Really nice. Kind of a jungle, 80s jungle vibe. Pop colors. Look at all, all the secret layer boxes. They're really nice. So this one is funny because it's got Jeff Goldblum. Uh, the secret funny, the, the secret secret layer card is also quite funny. Let's look at that one. So I'm going to put this aside first. Secret, secret layer. Okay, this one is really cool. I, I wonder if they are pay for its likeness because, you know, even if you use some of the, let's say for Marvel, for the licensing, you, you, you have to pay for the, to use the likeness of the actors. So they must have paid Jeff Goldblum and maybe, I wonder if he plays Magic. Hey Jeff, if you're watching this, let us know if you play Magic. Here we got him as Lab Maniac. Oh, sorry, back to the licensing. So, for example, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange. They can't really use Doctor Strange, Benedict's image as Doctor Strange in any product they make unless they pay him a licensing, uh, the rights to use his likeness in it. That's why you might see the good old Doctor Strange from um, the comics instead of Benedict as Doctor Strange, if you, if you get what I mean. Anyway, here we got Lab Maniac combo piece. Mill yourself out and then um, deck out, try to draw a card, win. Look at him. Now, eventually, you do plan a dinosaur on your dinosaur tour, right? Great quotes from him from the movie. Got Malcolm's Mercurial Mirth. He's laughing, he's laughing. Each opponent, this one is hit Tasha's hideous laughter. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. And then we've got, oh, I love this one. This one, I have to find a, a deck to play it in just for the memes. Ian, Covalescent Charmer. Kind of reminds me of the fly. Anyway, look at him. I'm always on the lookout for a future ex, and this is Malcolm. And we've got him as Atla Palani Nest Tender. So Palani, 
he creates his Goblin Shaman. There, there is no flavor text in this one. It's kind of cool. Two tap, create zero one defender token. When an egg you control dies, reveal top card of your library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card in the bottom battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. And the last card is a dinosaur egg. And finally, the secret, secret layer card is actually Chaos Theory, Chaos Warp. I remember his famous quote, it's only principle is the butterfly effect. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and in Central Park, you get rain instead of sunshine. So big quote from the original um, book as well as the Jurassic Park film. It's Chaos Warp, also a staple. Let's put it aside. Okay, since we're on a roll, let's see the other Jurassic World breaks free. Do we get a colorful one? Yep. Colorful box. This time it's the right side up. Okay, let us get into this one. This one has got a different treatment altogether. Kind of a got a secret card as well. So we've got T-Rex. T-Rex. Let's try to take. This gets a bit sticky. Oh shit. Wow, super sticky. Try not to damage the cards. Oh, the box is all messed up. Check this out. Is that considered a misprint? Is it mold or is it just... Yeah, the colouring is just off. Anyway, mis anything qualifies for misprint these days. Okay, so T-Rex. Let's get in. Quick one. I'll go quicker. The foiling is not very foily. So T-Rex here is Itali, the Primal Storm, reprinted like to no end, but still a powerful effect. Whenever it attacks, exile the top card of the library, may cast spells among those without paying the casting cost. We've got Velociraptor. These are really nice cards. This one is Rampaging Ferocidon, 3 mana. When, uh, players can't gain life, as you see here. And whenever an, another creature ETBs, it deals 1 damage to the creature's controller. I've uh, got Indominus Rex here, which is Polyraptor. This is a much needed reprint for the Dino deck, Velociraptor. That would be really cool. The, the LCI Commander deck. Basically, what happens is whenever it is dealt damage, create a token as a copy of it. So basically, you want to ping yourself with um, other cards and then use it to fight. And oh, I didn't realize the casting cost was 8. And make tokens of it. Got Wayward Sword Tooth. This is nice. This is also in the the Velociraptor deck. Basically, if you have the City's Blessing, you may uh, play additional land on each of your turns, and you can't attack and block unless you have the City's Blessing. That's a Triceratops. We've got Spinosaur. I love these cards. I love dinosaurs. Uh, this one gives uh, Regisaur Alpha. Regisaur Alpha. Whenever ETBs create a tree tree dinosaur creature of trample and other dinosaur creatures you control of haste. And the secret layer secret card is a Brachiosaur, which is Colossal Dreadmoor. And this is a basic uh, all star staple in draft. It's just a good old vanilla six mana, six six with trample. Okay, that's our secret layers. I got three more. I'll keep going. We've got Tale of the Time Stoppers. Let's see what's in this one. I can never get this to tear properly. See, it breaks off half. Okay, thank you again. This one, Tale of the Time Stoppers, is... Let's have a look. Some cool cards in this one as well. That's why I got this one. This one's nice and flat out of the box. Maybe it is the packaging and the way it's printed. Who knows? But it's sitting flat. Um, this is about time. So, taking extra turns. 8 mana, Beacon of Tomorrow. Uh, Mike, Misha, Misha? Huyin? Art, Sorcery, Target Player takes an extra turn after this one, Shuffle it. So this is Nexus of Fate, much needed reprint. Uh, it was a buy a box promo from, I want to say, M20. And it hasn't been reprinted. People are really not happy about that because it was standard playable. But Nexus, wait, hang on a second. Sorry, sorry, this is Nexus of Fate. Take an extra turn after this one and Nexus of Fate will be put in the graveyard from anywhere. Reveal it, shuffle it. So you, you got into some loots where you could take in turns and uh, keep on going. Uh, this one is the same, kind of. It's 8 mana target player. Uh, this one is just you. So 7 mana, this is 8 mana. So Nexus of Fate, definitely stronger. I love these taking turns. We've got Time Reversal. Each player shuffles. This is um, 5 mana Time Twister. Each player shuffles their hand graveyard uh, into their library, then draw 7 cards and exile this. So kind of like a fixed Time Twister. Time Stop, 6 mana. 
end the turn. So six mana. Whoops. No, no bueno. And uh, the secret last secret card here is two mana. Sylvan Ranger. When Sylvan Ranger is an Elf Scout Ranger, ETB, search a library for basic land, reveal it, put in your hand, then shuffle. I wonder if this new art by uh, Cerulio. Cerulio is an old school wizards artist that did quite a lot of cards. He did Sarah Sanctum, I think, notably. This is a, I don't know if this is a reprint or a new card, but that's kind of cool. Really nice. Okay, two more to go. We got Showcase Lost Caverns of Ixalan. This is uh, what they call the Rainbow Foil. I opened a Goblin version previously, so you might have seen what that looks like. The Rainbow Foiling is apparently a new method of foiling where it's just foilier, shinier, and hopefully sits flat. This one sits quite flat. So as you can see here, this is taking on the... Um, doesn't look re very rainbowly, but we've got the Ixalan Showcase version. Got Captain Lannery Storm. These are all reprints. Got Admiral Beckett Brass, Richard Leong Art. Nice one, dude. Pirate Lord. We've got Alenda Dusk Rose by Richard. I can't pronounce your name. But anyway, Lifelink. Go and go through the details. We've got Komana, Tyrant of Orzak or or Orozka. Orozka. Also reprinted recently in the Lost Commander of Caverns of Ixalan Commander deck. We got Vona, Butcher of Magan, Pig Hands, and then the. Um, oh, I get it now. So I think uh, the last cycle we had Slivers. Now we've got as bonus cards uh, Elves. We're moving the Elves. We've got Elvish Visionary. So I guess this is OG art. Uh, just full art Elves. Going to Typo. That is cool. All right, I'm not sure what else has been opened, but it's kind of nice to see something new that's not slivery. Even though I love slivers, my favorite tribe, the tribe everyone loves to hate. Let's see what we got in Microsynth Wave. Some really cool cards in this one as well. I like the art on this. It's got a kind of 80s video game retro vibe to this one. Whoosh. All right, we've got Michael Simph Golem, Affinity for Artifacts, Artifact Creatures You Control. You cast have Affinity for Artifacts 11, so make everything cheaper. Uh, well, Signal Noise is the artist. Michael Simph Lethal, this one didn't have many, many cards in there. There were only three. Maybe it's because they put some big money card here. Michael Simph Lethal, I think it's a $50 card, so worth the price of entry. It's a sideboard staple for Khan, a great creator. All permanent art artifacts. In addition to other types, all cards that aren't on the battlefield, spells, and permanents are colors. Everything becomes colors. Players may spend mana as though as any color. Shuts down stuff with uh, card. Kills everything. We've got Micro Synth Wellspring. This one is kind of a combo piece as well. When ETBs are put in your graveyard, search your battlefield for a land card, reveal it, put in your hand, and shuffle. Oh, wait, not. I'm thinking something else. Another Micro Synth. Sorry, my bad. This is a. Um, just value to crack in your graveyard. So I think everyone would be buying this for the art and for this Microsynth Lattice. So only three cards in this one. And the secret card is... Oh my god, I got another Elvish Visionary. Nice. I'm sure they, they printed stuff uh, that are staples for Elf decks. Too bad they can't be cradles. But anyway, that's that. A uh, bit of um, all-over-the-shop opening. I hope you enjoyed the opening and that... You do get your Locust card promo. It's got seven days left in this drop. If you spend $200 or more, you get a promo. And during, I think, one of the sales, Black Friday, there was 10% off as well. That's when I got it. Although Wizards screwed it up and they had to refund us the 10%. Anyway, thanks for watching the opening and um, wishing you all the best in your pack openings. Thanks, bye.